after 22 years and the encounter with the angel, Yaakov Avinu finally comes face to face with Esav. He had prepared for this fateful day, praying, getting ready in case of battle, and having gifts to be able to provide for his brother Esav. But in Pasuk Tet, Esav says, I don't need the gifts. Yesh li rav. I have so much. Rashi notes that while Esav says, Yesh li rav, just two psukim later, Yaakov Avinu says, Yesh li kol. I have everything. What's the difference between rav so much and everything? According to Rashi, Esav was speaking in a haughty manner. Bilshon ga'avam. I have rav, I have yoter v'yoter michdei tzorki. I have more than I would ever need, and therefore, I don't require your gifts. While Yaakov Avinu said, I have everything I need, and is willing to give the gifts, nevertheless, to Esav. And yet the Klei Akar views this very differently. And he says, why would Esav say yesh li rav? Because harishaim, because when it comes to those who are evil, afal pish yesh lem kol ba'ulam, even though they may have all of the silver and gold in the world, it seems to them as if they're still missing something. They still want more. And so according to the Kleyakar, Rav doesn't mean I have so much, but rather Yeshli Rav Esav's response means I have a lot, but not enough. Whereas Yaakov Avinu says, I have everything because he understands that what God has blessed him with is all that he needs, yeshli kol. But still, if Esav is missing something, why would he re reject the gift that Yaakov was willing to give him? Said the Kleyakar, because a, rasha, a person who is evil, who feels that he's still missing, will look askance at a gift unless it is a vast gift of wealth. And so Esav's response to Yaakov was, what you want to give me is not enough. I need so much more. Those are the two different ways we normally look at this exchange. Either that Esav says, I have more than I need, or Esav says, I will never have enough. And yet, the Tosfot HaShalem, in the name of Rabbeinu Ephraim, offers a fascinating third possibility, saying, yesh li rav, that when Esav said, I have a rav, it doesn't mean I have so much, but rather Esav was admitting that Yaakov was ultimately his master. He was admitting that the blessings of his father had come true, and therefore he was rejecting the gift, because since he had a rav, a master and his younger brother Yaakov, Kana Eved Kana Rabo. Therefore, whatever he would take would ultimately belong to Yaakov Avinu. And so there was no purpose in accepting the gift if it ultimately would revert back to Yaakov. Three ways of looking at this. One is Esav is being haughty. Two, Esav is the ultimate rasha, never having enough. And the third is Esav is giving up, realizing that no matter what he would get, yesh li rav, he has a master in Yaakov. And those gifts are meaningless because kana eved, kana rabo.